Good morning, class. Welcome to Mathematics Year 2. We are still at length, mass and volume of liquid. Previous lesson, we have learned about length. This time, we are going to learn about mass. Recognize unit of gram and kilogram. The learning standard for today is 6.2.1. Recognize unit of mass. Before we learn about the units, let's take a look at some weighing scales. Do you know what is weighing scales? Machine penimbang. Have you seen this weighing scale before? If yes, where have you seen it? Di mana kamu pernah kamu nampak mesin penimbang ini? At the market, right? Okay, how about the next weighing scale? It's almost the same with the first, but it's smaller. You might have this at home. Your mother might use it to measure things to bake cakes or make kueh. So, do you have this at home? The third one. This weighing scale. Do you have this weighing scale at home? It's to measure your weight. Untuk mengukur ataupun menimbang berat badan kamu. Berat badan manusia. Next one. This is the same as the third one. To measure your weight. Do you remember... When we learn about time, there's manual and digital clock. For weighing scales, there are manual and digital as well. The first one, is it manual or digital? It's manual. Second one, manual. Third, digital. Fourth, manual. How do you differentiate manual and digital weighing scales? Manual weighing scale has the what? Has the this. What's this? The needle. Okay, the needle. Whereas for digital, it's numbers. So manual has needles, but digital has the digital numbers. Let's take a look at another few more examples of weighing scales. Have you seen this one before? You use this to measure ingredients untuk menimbang bahan-bahan untuk dimasak ataupun untuk membuat cake. This one you can see at the supermarket. Very good. If you follow your parents to supermarket next time, you can see this at the weighing station. This one. This is to measure luggage or bags. And this one is the same. Which one is digital and which one is manual? The first one, 
manual or digital, you see there are what? Numbers. So, it's digital. Second one. Numbers as well. There are numbers, so they are digital. Third one. Third one, you have a needle. So it's manual. Last one. Digital. Very good. Do you get all correct? Now, let us learn Recognize unit of gram and kilogram. Let's take a look at this picture. The mass of this milk powder is 1 kilogram. This bread has a mass of 400 grams. So there are two units for mass. One is gram and one is kilogram the symbol for gram is g for example 400 grams equals to 400 g whereas the symbol for kilogram is kilogram k g gram G, kilogram kg. So one kilogram is one kg. Let's take a look at these examples. This is a jar of cookies. So it's written there 450 grams. You can write it as 450 G grams, the symbol is G. How about this chocolate? 120 grams. So we write it off as 120 G. Simple, right? Next, stacks of Newspapers, 3 kilograms, the unit for kilograms, kg, so you write it as, what, 3 kg, very good. Now we take a look, which is suitable, do you use g or kg? A ball of sugar. If it's 100, is it 100 G or 100 kg? 100 G. 100 kg would be heavier than you, even heavier than Madam Audrey. Next one. Orange. If it's 300, 300 G or kg, G, because there's only two oranges there. So it's not 300 kg. A packet of detergent. Do you know what is detergent? Have you seen this before? It's the washing powder your mom used to wash clothes. If I put 5, 5G or 5KG? 5 5KG, 5 you don't say it as 5G because it's not lighter, bukannya lebih ringan, Compared to a ball of sugar, jika dibandingkan dengan gula tadi. A packet of biscuits. 
or cream crackers. If it's 30, 30, G, very good. Next, marbles, guli, 600, G or KG, G. Next one, beef, okay, or meat, daging lembu. If it's two, is it two G or two KG? Two KG. A packet of rice. Ten. 10 G or 10 kg? Kg. Last one. A baby. If it's 11, is it 11 G or kg? Kg. Very good. Now we take a look at this. This is a weighing scale, but a manual weighing scale. Do you remember graduation? Graduation maksudnya jarak di antara dua garis kecil. Okay, so this graduation, each graduation is 50 G or 50 gram. So each of these 50 gram, 50 gram, 50 gram, 50 gram, 50 gram, until the end. Cara di antara setiap dua garis ialah 50 G ataupun 50 gram. Now we look at this weighing scale. What is the graduation for each? You look at the numbers. Zero, hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred. So each graduation is 100 gram. How do you know it's 100 G? There's a G here, right? Do you see the G? Okay, so it's each graduation is 100 G. How about this one? What's the graduation? Each graduation is 200 G. Because every year graduation the difference is 200 G. The G is here. How about this one? What's each graduation? Each graduation is 1 kg. Very good. The difference is 1 k g i hope now you know how to differentiate between gram the symbol is g and kilogram k g remember g is lighter lebih ringan g gram lebih berat Kilogram, kg. The heavier one is kg, kilogram. Your exercise for today is to complete page 129 in your mathematics year 2 activity book. Thank you class and I'll see you again on the next session. Goodbye.